The death toll is continuously expected to increase in the country's capital, Mexico City, and over 40 buildings were reportedly severely damaged or destroyed. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, the epicenter was at Atencinco in Puebla at a depth of 51 kilometers, while more than 11 aftershocks have been registered, with the strongest reaching magnitude 4. The deadly earthquake toppled dozens of buildings, broke gas mains and sparked fire across the city and other towns in central Mexico. Mexico's national power company said as many as 4.6 million homes, businesses and other facilities had lost electricity. Now among the dead are 25 school children who were crushed beneath a primary school that was reduced to rubble, while a further 30 children and 8 adults remain unaccounted for as rescue workers clawed through the wreckage of the school in search for dozens of young children feared buried beneath. Some relatives said they received WhatsApp messages from two girls that are trapped inside. Mexican President Pena Nieto has also declared emergency in a televised address following the earthquake for the affected areas and the military was being drafted in to help with the response. Este desastre natural se da menos de dos semanas de otro gran sismo que afectó a los estados de Chiapas y Oaxaca. The quake is the deadliest in Mexico since a 1985 quake on the same date killed at least 10,000 people. It also came just 12 days after another tumbler that killed nearly 100 people and left more than 200 injured in the state of Oaxaca and Chiapas. Meanwhile, no Malaysians were affected by the deadly 7.1 magnitude earthquake that struck Mexico. In a statement, the Malaysian embassy in Mexico said the four Malaysians residing in Mexico City are safe and 15 other Malaysians residing in other parts of the country are not near the affected area.